everybody. Uh, this week we were supposed to do either uh, another round of uh, proof diving or uh, show and tell. And um, while I love both of those ideas, I really want to do that in either of those in, or both of those in during weeks when we can all post. Um, and Matt's MIA. He's on tour, melting faces in Portland last night, so he's not available. So. And as it turns out, there's been something big that's happened um, for us here at Thunder Road that we kind of want to talk about anyway. So, um, so hopefully Ia hasn't filmed her video yet. But <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, since it's Wednesday. Um, have, yeah, oh, sorry Ia for like messing things up. Uh, but there's something that, that really... Uh, important happened for us over the weekend um, and it definitely falls under the heading of life change which when I think of life changes the two biggest life changes are either being born or dying and uh, we lost somebody that we didn't know personally but who was really important to us. This weekend uh, Clarence Clemens died who if you are unfamiliar that is the saxophone player for Bruce Springsteen's band, the E Street Band, and he's been a really close personal friend, uh, I mean, of Bruce's. Um, he's played with everybody, too. I mean, yeah. everybody wants to have him on his, their albums, because there really isn't anybody that plays sax for rock music the way that the big band did. I yeah. mean, I can't think of anyone who no. comes close. No. Suck it, Kenny G. Uh, so... Yeah. Um... Yeah. I mean, the, I, I, I actually get speechless when I try and articulate the vastness it's, of the, of the loss that, that this is. It's huge. I mean, not just... As a, as a musician, Clarence was, you know one in a million and as a person I think he was one in a billion probably he he exuded such joy and such life every time he was on the stage and <clears throat> and the affection between him and Bruce was so evident and really um, drove both the music and the performance in in a way that was um, just joyful to watch, you know. And it's it's very clear if you've seen the E Street Band live, if you've watched the videos on YouTube, that every day on stage with Bruce and the rest of the people that he loves is hands down the best day of his life. And that was even I mean, we saw him November two thousand nine. was the last time that yeah. And he had had a lot of health problems, he had no, double knee replacement, he was gonna go in to have like spinal, spinal fusion. fusion. Yeah. Like not good stuff, but he was the kind of guy where it was like he'd immediately like after he got out of the hospital would be like, I'm gonna be on stage in two weeks, don't worry about it guys. Or, right, like, well I mean, I he, like the he, their Super Bowl performance, he had just had surgery. Right. I mean he had just like literally they wheeled him in a wheelchair yeah. to the stage and he got up and there's videos because he lived in Florida and there's videos from the Hard Rock Hotel in Hollywood and there's videos of him playing in a wheelchair. Yeah. And it's he just wanted to play music with the best musicians. And I he think could find. because of that, we all kind of figured he would pull through this again. Right. Too. I mean that that was definitely like after it got past the first like forty eight hours and he was conscious and you know, um, recognizing people when, you know, I think we all figured, you know. Right. I, I did. And, so. and Bruce flew from... Wherever he was with his daughter. Yeah, and to be at the UK side. or something. Yeah. And so we really thought it was going to be all right. Yeah. <laughs> but um, so it was as big of a surprise to some people as it was. So today we're a bit in mourning for the loss of Clarence Cummins and we are going to put some links down below and I urge you to go enjoy um, the music and the friendship. And, and um, a big, big 
props go out to Lady Gaga for being possibly more Class classy. Act. Yeah, like <laughs> classier than I ever thought she would be in this. So and rallying her fans behind Clarence because he had one just the last with last her. thing that he did was uh, so. basically professionally was played on her uh, video. Yeah, so, so I have to say I am yeah. quite impressed with her right now, but. Yeah, um, check the links, and I hope you have a better week than ours started out, and we'll see you next week.